Oh, hey, I'm just reading my favorite book, Green Grass, Green Snake. When I was at the bookstore looking for it, I saw this awesome, awesome cover with this great title, Green Grass, Green Snake. And I just had to get it because I love grass. I love snakes. I like the color green and the cover looks cool. This was a text feature that drew me in. And then as I kept reading the text, I saw all these other amazing features like tables and digraphs that tell me all about snakes. And I saw a glossary at the end to help me figure out some words I didn't quite understand. So many cool things can be found in this book other than just the text itself. And that's what we're gonna be working on today. In our fourth day for our 10th week of our second grade Teach a Home series, we're gonna be working on finding text features. So without further ado, let's get started. In wrapping up the week, we're gonna do a two part series on text features. Now text features are features that are not in the main body of the text. So they're not what you're reading, but they still help us when reading the text. So text features include book covers and titles. So for instance, in this book cover and title, we see the title that tells us that the book is about Alby keeping a secret, right? Or a secret that Alby has. And then we can also see the cover of this book and we see somebody looking at a shining light inside a closet. So that's gonna be a very important part of the story or we can assume it probably will be important. It also includes table of contents. Now the table of content, contents is usually at the beginning of a book and it kind of gives you an overview of what you're going to be reading in the book. It gives you a lot of the chapters or segment names or titles of different segments that you're going to be reading. And then it also tells you the starting page numbers. So it doesn't tell you all of the page numbers of that entire chapter or segment, but it will tell you what page that chapter or segment begins. It also includes headings and subheadings. So for instance, in this, the heading tells you what the page, chapter, or section of the book is about. So in this case, it's the Grand Canyon. We're learning about that. And then we have the subheadings, which are the bolded words inside of the page. And those are telling us what the paragraphs or individual small segments of the text are about. So for instance, in this case, the first paragraph is about layers of rock. The second paragraph is about blue-green water. Third paragraph is about getting to the bottom. And then the third paragraph is about cooling off. So you get an idea of what you're going to be reading about. These help you build understanding. Another text feature is pictures and captions. So in this, in this page, we see several pictures and they help you visualize what the text is about. And then we also see the captions underneath the pictures and those describe what you see in the pictures. Text features also include tables, charts, or graphs. So in this case, we're learning about a prickly giant, a big cactus, and we see this table at the bottom that provides you with several extra details about the prickly di uh, giant. And they could be extra details that are not in the text or they can help you organize some of the important details that are in the text. Another one is diagrams. We see diagrams all the time. So a diagram provides several features. This one in particular provides several features about a kangaroo. Oftentimes a diagram will show you several facts and point at important details um, of what you're reading about. Glossaries are very important text features. So a glossary gives definitions to key words that are in the text, right? And they're often found at the end of the book. And note about a glossary that they're always going to be arranged in alphabetical order from A at the top to Z at the bottom. If it's multiple pages, then the first word is going to be closest to A and the last word is going to be at the end of the alphabet closer to Z. Another one and a very important one is called the index. Now the index is also often found at the end of the book and it allows you to look up where, like, where key topics can be found in the text and it tells you their exact page number. So it's a very, very important text feature to help you navigate your way through a text. So let's practice using some of these text features. Let's start by answering some questions about the diagram about the red kangaroo. So what are two features in this diagram that help a red kangaroo jump? Well, so I'm gonna look through the diagram and see anything about jumping. Well, I see here that they have large, powerful legs for jumping and 
their long, powerful tail for balance while jumping. So a red kangaroo's powerful legs help it jump, and its powerful tail helps it balance while jumping. Great. What are some of the red kangaroo's larger features? What are some of the large parts of a kangaroo? Well, I'm looking for anything that says large or long or big. So I see here it has large ears, has a long snout, large powerful legs, large feet, and then long powerful tail. So if I put those all together in one sentence, the red kangaroo has large ears, a long snout, large legs and feet, and a long tail. All right, so now let's practice using the index. Use the index to determine where in the text you might find out about poisonous snakes of the world. Poisonous snakes. So usually the way I like to start off is what is the subject I'm trying to look for and just go straight for it. See if I can find that word. So I'm going to look for poisonous snakes. So I'm going to look for P, 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 go down in alphabetical order. By the way, indexes are also in alphabetical order. And there it is, O through P, P. Poisonous snakes, right there. So, you can read about poisonous snakes on pages 8 and 10. Those numbers tell us what pages we can read them. Re read about them. On what page might you find out about the different eggs reptiles lay? Okay, so now, keyword is going to be eggs. So, I'm going to look for E for eggs. E-E-D-E. -E -E. There we go. And then, oh, there it is. Eggs. Perfect. So, you can read about eggs on page 5. Now let's look at some subheadings. Based on the subheadings, what are the last two paragraphs of this text likely about? So what are the last two paragraphs about? Well, the subheading in the last, or second to last, is getting to the bottom, and we're talking about the Grand Canyon. And then the subheading in the last paragraph is cooling off. So getting to the bottom, I assume we're talking about getting to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, how, how, how people get to the bottom. And then cooling off, I'm going to go ahead and assume based on that, that it's how people stay cool while they're hiking. So getting to the bottom, cooling off. The last two paragraphs are probably about how hikers reach the bottom of the canyon and how they keep cool in the heat. Thank you so much for following along. Tomorrow we're going to get right back into text features, so please come join us. For more resources, visit handtomineathome.com, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a good one.